Lexi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking and watching. I am a part-time online reseller for Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and I don't even know why I include Kinnison because I have yet to sell on there, but we're just going to say Kinnison. <laughs> so in the midst of the global crisis happening right now that is coronavirus, I have been struggling to come up with content because the thrift stores are either closed or I'm choosing to quarantine myself um, and follow social distancing. Uh, so I'm not shopping, I'm not sourcing. I can't do thrift with these. I can't do any hauls yet. I actually have ordered three different um, mystery boxes, which I will be unboxing. So that's similar to a haul. Um, can't wait for those to come in. But uh, I had to come up with some other things to share with y'all that is reselling related. So I came up with a few different um, lists. And the one we're going to talk about today is five most disappointing sales of the year so far. So we're almost um, a fourth of the way through the year. It's almost the end of March. The way things are looking right now, I probably won't sell much more for the rest of March because people have stopped buying in the last couple of days. Um, I'm sure that it's just people are busy. Um, hungering down or doing whatever they need to do to take care of themselves and their family and I'm understanding of course um so that's why I decided to go ahead and do these even though technically we're not through even three months but I still think it would be five five fun fun okay so I have six I wish I could say that I said five because I have five disappointing cells but no I have six so I don't know why I said five um excuse me too for my congestion I am sick with allergies possibly a size infection, but nothing virus related. So apologize. Okay. So these cells, um, were disappointing for a variety of reasons and I'll let you know why each of them were. I'm going to pop up the picture right here and, uh, so yeah, let's get started. So the first one I want to talk about is this motherhood nursing poncho. I picked this up, um, full price at Goodwill for $4.89 and I'm not going to lie. I did not look up comps, which is the first mistake I made. Um, I just, having been a mom, having nursed, I thought that it would be kind of like a high demand uh, item on um, the resale market because you don't want to spend a whole lot of money because you're only going to use it for a certain amount of time. So I thought that it would be good to resell. Um, but in the same line of thought that I just had, yes, people don't want to spend a lot of money. So even, or maybe especially resell, they don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, so this thing sat for a long time. I listed it last year in July and <laughs> it finally sold on eBay for $10. Um, I think this was an offer I sent to someone on eBay. Uh, I was trying to get sales going and I was really happy they accepted it. So I ended up making about $4 in profit, which I mean, it's a profit. I, I made a little bit, but I definitely... It was disappointed because I thought it would go for more and it didn't. So learn from my mistakes. Look your comps up. Um, some people might even still feel like this was a good pickup because they still made, you know, almost double your money. It all depends on your own um, business model. So the next thing I want to talk about are these Vince slip-ons. So uh, this is one of those times where like I was just super pumped about the brand. So I paid full price for these at a regular Goodwill. Um, they were $11.99. They were in amazing condition. And I'm not, I definitely don't regret buying them because they eventually sold and they made me, um, you know, the profit ended up being $14. They sold for $33. But for me, it was disappointing because due to the brand and the condition, I thought they were going to go for so much more. I think that I started them out at $75 or $80, if I'm not mistaken. Like, they ended up selling for $33. Um, so, it's just one of those things, you know, brand, you know, brands are great or like they retail for high and I think this is one of them, but the resale value just isn't there. Um, as high, anyway, you know, they still sold for $33. So, um, the next thing, <laughs> y'all, this is disappointing because I'm disappointed in myself because I completely messed up on this from purchase to sell. Like I, the, the, 
my bad. Uh, okay, so they're these kids keen pink water shoes. And so first off, it was the first time I'd ever found keen. I found them at a garage sale. I paid $5 for them, um, which is not bad. I probably would still pick keen shoes up for $5 at a garage sale. Easy. But these had this like yellow glue something like seeping out. I, I really don't understand why or what the glue was because it didn't, what, I don't know. Point is they were flawed in that way. Um, if they weren't, I feel like they would have sold pretty quickly. Um, instead they sat since August of last year. Um, if you're watching this in the future, like this is March. So I paid $5 for them. And then I really am not sure how this happened. By the way, my son's over there watching and playing and being loud, so I apologize. But um, I don't offer free shipping on the majority of items on eBay. The only things that offer free shipping on are things that are usually sold with free shipping, if that makes sense. So like my video games, most of the comps are free shipping, so I do free shipping on them and I price accordingly. Ties, I think. I mean, there's some random things like that. Um, it's usually based on how the comps are doing. But on regular clothing items, I don't offer free shipping. On shoes, I don't offer free shipping. Why there was free shipping offered on these, I don't know. But I do know that I had them priced at 25 um, or 24 I don't really know, actually. And that actually doesn't matter now that I'm thinking it. Um, but what happened was I got an offer and I accepted the offer without looking at the listing and I accepted an offer of $12.50 with free shipping. <laughs> so these aren't um, super light shoes. If you know Keens, you know, they're hardy soles, you know? Um, and I did everything I could to try to get these to weigh under a pound. <laughs> Um, everything. I mean, y'all, I was cut, like, I literally was like half an ounce from it being under a pound. Like I did everything. I, I, I took out as much of the poly mailer as I could. Like I was cutting into the poly mailer. Uh, yeah, it didn't happen. Um, so they sold for $12.50. Okay. So then if you take away what eBay is going to take away from me. Um, it was like eleven fifty, and then if you take away that I paid seven seventy five in shipping, and you take away the five dollars I spent on it, it actually cost me a dollar fifty. I oh my gosh! Like whenever I was doing the shipping for these, I was so bad because I was just like, "What were you thinking?" It's just complete oversight that I didn't look. But anyway, it happens. It's done. Those are at least out of my house. Even though it cost me a dollar fifty and lots of time, <laughs> and actually, I think I tried like two or three poly mailers, and and there was like a lot to it, so it cost me a lot of money. But I learned, I learned a lot. I learned that every single time before I accept a um, an offer, no matter how sure I am that the shipping is calculated, I look every time now. Okay, um, so uh, moving right along, number four on this list are these Talbot Gray Signature Slacks. Now. This is disappointing because it was one of the first purchases I made um, as a reseller and it was because another YouTuber had talked about how much they had success selling career pieces and I did not do enough research. I didn't do enough research into what they were paying for them to flip them, what they were selling for, the brands, the styles. I didn't do enough research and so what ended up happening is I was stuck. <laughs> with these Talbot's signature slacks that I paid almost $5 for, um, for almost a year, because this is one of the first things I listed back in May of last year. Um, they finally sold for $13. And I really feel like I, they were one of those items where I was like, okay, I might be putting them on auction soon, or I might be just like putting them down to $5. I don't know what to do here. So I'm glad they eventually sold. And I mean, I still made like a five or six dollar profit off of them, but the link that they had to sit in my closet and I had to keep sharing and I had to keep dealing with, not worth it, not worth it. Now, would I have picked these up for 25 cents to a dollar? Yeah, maybe 
so I would have priced them lower too and they probably would have sold sooner you know it's all of those things together is why they didn't sell sooner in my opinion all right number five on the list is this one rolled maxi dress um this was almost those keen shoes like I really was afraid that this was going to go the route of me losing money on them so I bought this dress um on a trip to Texas, I did a trip with my husband um, for his work and I got to source the whole time, which was super fun. And the prices were way high over there. Um, I paid $6.50 for this dress and I bought it for the brand because I was new and I still wasn't researching my brands enough. Uh, it was a size small, which was one of the bigger reasons it didn't sell early or for good money. Um, this I posted last June and it finally sold for $15.35 and I made about a $7 profit. So I did technically double my money, but it sat for so long and there was no interest. Like this, just like the slacks, like there was no interest in either of these pieces. Um, I wasn't particularly excited in either of these pieces. Now I have sold one world in the past, but they were big sizes and they sold quickly. Um, so yeah, this was a small, it probably wasn't a good style. Nobody's wearing these kind of maxi dresses as often. So it's okay. I learned from it. All right. And the number sixth one is, um, probably the most recent. So this is another instance of brand. I bought this Spanx set. So it was a tank top and like underwear short kind of set. Um, and, but the reason I bought it is because it was in such good condition. It was Spanx. I was like, yes, Spanx. Oh my gosh, people talk about things all the time. They bring so much money. Yeah, not this kind of stuff, y'all. And if I would have researched it and looked up the comps in the store, which I didn't, I would have found this. And I would have picked it up. And the reason I say that is because it was $7 for the set. Um, you know, if it was $3, 4 $5, maybe. And I know you're thinking that's just 2 or $3. But it matters in profit, you know. Every dollar counts when you're doing this business. Um... Now it, it thankfully was pretty quick, um, and sold for 20 and I made about $11 profit, but it was disappointing to me because with that brand, I really thought that they would have gone for more. When I looked at comps and saw they were only going for like 20 to 25, if I could find the comps, like it was very difficult to find any comps along the lines of what these things are. Um, so yeah, I just thought I got really excited and I thought that I had like hit a, you know, a jackpot item that maybe would have brought me 20 30 40 dollars profit it didn't happen and that's okay sometimes sometimes it happens and you just got to move past um these disappointments so those are the six items that have sold so far in the year 2020 that have disappointed me um so have you had some sales lately that have disappointed you or even have you purchased something gone home looked at the comps like really looked at them and realized it was a bad purchase because I'd love to hear about it. Comment down below so we can just share in our grief of the process. Um, so yeah, uh, please stay tuned because I have several other similar videos coming up um, talking about the cells that I've had this year and kind of breaking them down into different categories. And I think it's fun. Um, if you do too, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.